Hello everybody. So I've been really busy. Recently I just joined a new clan, a fairly large clan. Um, I will still be bringing solo content and stuff like that and showing you how to do things solo, so don't worry about that. I did want to talk about the new early access updates that they've put out on the PAX Day Discord. So we're going to read this together and look it over and let's see what we got going on here so they put out hello paxians we are in the process of locking the next patch which as you can guess will mainly contain fixes many of the fixes are technical and will or won't be detailed in the patch notes but as we know you're eager for new content, our devs responsible for the signs made a point of finishing their implementation before the code freeze. We plan to deploy this patch midweek next week. So sometime in the middle of the week next week um, is when this will go live, which cool. And as an image speaks more than a thousand words, here are a few. Now we're gonna look at each image individually and see what we think about it okay so they got a character one of the devs characters obviously um, taking on a team of bears and then it's showing all of the bears defeated okay so looking at this I see the shadow hauberk with that have highlighted up there um, so it looks like, I'm wondering if we're getting any new spells with this, because that you know, they didn't really say specifically, but they did say pictures worth a thousand words. So I'm looking at the Shadow Hauberk, and I'm noticing it has Radiant Mend 3 on it, and Radiant Mend 2, I believe, is incredibly difficult to get right now in the game. At least I haven't heard of a way of getting it easier, so... Radiant Men 3, just looking at that Shadow, shadow Hauberk, I'm assuming we're probably going to be getting some new equipment with upgraded spells. That's what it's looking like to me. What do you guys think? You see something different? I'm looking at their inventory. I see... A couple pieces of equipment down there. I see a cloth chest piece. Um, this shadow hauberk with Radiant Men 3 on it. I'm, I'm wondering if we're going to start getting some new skill levels with new equipment and new spells. Maybe? What do you guys think about that? And moving on to large animal hides. I know that myself, I have recently killed 200 bears and I barely barely got I didn't even get to 20 of these large animal hides 200 bears and I didn't even get to 20 it was insane and I know other people had very good RNG some people are saying they're getting two every kill and I'm like I wish that was the case for me but it absolutely was not I was killing hordes of bears and getting no large animal hides whatsoever so looking at this it looks like they increased it to one guaranteed large animal hide drop per corpse and in some cases two so it looks like we now have a or we will have a hundred percent drop rate for a large animal hide off of at least the bears hopefully off of all of the animals that have a chance of dropping it like the grand boars um, the dire wolves things like that uh, if they increase that to 100% drop rate, then that would be absolutely phenomenal. Because that is the only thing holding my character up right now in the game. Um, I did move for maps. I moved from Karis. I walked all the way up through the gate, and I joined this new clan, and I moved all the way up to Ancien. I have been very busy yesterday and today, <laughs> building a whole new house, uh, starting all over from scratch, and that's pretty much what my, my focus these last two days has been is just getting back on my feet in a new map and i am loving it because there's actually pure iron ore in ancien which again i've been all over the map of Karis, never found a single node so 
so far it's been a pretty good move because I have a couple of chests now full of pure iron ore so it's been very nice and large animal hides has been holding me up because that is what I am working on now and if they increase that to 100% drop rate per animal that drops those I will finally be able to start leveling my skills up again which would be phenomenal let's see what's next signs oh right yes the signs so i'm very thrilled about the signs same as like everybody who's been wanting signs we've been wanting signs to label our boxes awesome looking at this picture it looks like they just added it to the props and since there's so many signs i i feel like they need to update the way the props tab works with min you know with mini tabs inside of the props tab so we can minimize or maximize each category because I don't want to scroll through a thousand signs every time I want to look for one thing in the props section so I think they're gonna need to work on the UI on that a little bit but still very thrilled about signs that'll be nice it'll be a nice little touch but still waiting on big changes and cloth outfits okay so what are we that's the sign for the that's the cloth okay so that's the materials that it's going to take to make a sign to add, okay that's not too bad okay those are pretty easy materials to get and it looks like that's the end of it so it looks like we're getting signs they're not going to take a whole lot of materials to make there's a nice variety I like that but the thing I am most excited for is the increased drop rate on those large animal hides because that has been a nightmare for me lately and even in the clan which is again a fairly large clan those are still very scarce it seems right now everybody's just struggling trying to get those so I'm excited for that. I can't wait to, for that to go live. I'm not even going to farm any more large animal hides until this patch goes in. And that's it for this video. Uh, if, if you would, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit that like button, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think of these changes. And I would also like to know your input on what you think the next changes that they implement should be. What would you like to see put into the game next? All right, and have a good one.